नमस्कार आई एम डॉक्टर शिप्रा कुंवर एंड आई एम वर्किंग एज कंसल्टेंट गायनोकोलॉजिस्ट एंड ऑब्सर्वेशन एट मणिपाल हॉस्पिटल खराड़ी पुणे जनवरी मंथ इज सेलिब्रेटेड एज सर्वाइकल कैंसर अवेयरनेस मंथ एंड आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट सर्वाइकल कैंसर एज वेल एज सर्वाइकल इन्फेक्शन टूडे सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट इज सर्विक्स सो सर्विक्स इज द माउथ ऑफ द यूट्रस एंड इट इज it is the one which opens up and during delivery of the baby and it is most prone to infections so uh, the infections which are commonly uh, uh, cervix is exposed to is bacterial fungal as well as some protozoal infections so what are the sim- symptoms of these infections the symptoms include lot of vaginal discharge there could be bleeding off and on and lower abdominal pain and uh, how do you identify you usually visit your gynecologist she will tell you and uh, what exactly is the infection and the treatment would include local antibiotics or even oral antibiotics now the other thing which is very common in cervical uh, cervix is the cervical cancer so what is the cervical cancer and how is it acquired so cervical cancer has been seen to be acquired by an infection called the human papilloma virus infection this infection is very common and will occur to almost every woman but it's the immunity which will clear off this infection so how can we prevent cervical cancer so so there are two main things which can prevent cervical cancer the first one being the cervical cancer vaccine the ideal age for cervical cancer vaccine is 9 to 14 years up to 14 years of age you need only two vaccines to be given but after 14 years of age you need three doses of the same vaccine there are number of vaccines available which may be the names which would be the gardasil vaccine the cervarix vaccine and our very own indian brand that is the cervavac and again uh, this vaccine ideal age is 9 to 14 years but you can give it up to 26 years safely after that you need to discuss with your gynecologist whether you want to take the vaccine or not the second most effective preventive thing which you can do uh, to prevent cervical cancer is uh, getting a pap smear done every year or every 3 years if you are doing a liquid based cytology and uh, you can also get an hpv testing done this hpv testing can be repeated every 5 years and it has said that cervical cancer screening which includes this pap smear or the liquid based cytology or the hpv is the most effective preventive method for cervical cancer so i will urge you all to undergo cervical cancer testing screening and uh, immunize your daughters at the right age against cervical cancer thank you so much